So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video where we're going to be looking at the newest trailer from uh, EA themselves, the FIFA World Cup Deep Dive trailer uh, that kind of goes over three main points, sort of the match day experience, the game modes and as well as ultimate team. Uh, I finally had a trim, so that's the hairstyle for you. What do you guys reckon? Rate it out of a million, as if. Uh, and I'm doing this before work because I've literally just woken up, so... Hopefully it won't sound like death. Anyway, let's just run the trailer itself and uh, we'll go over a couple of things. All right, I'm not going to let you listen to the audio because of copyright infringement. Uh, but basically, they've got this Sheldon guy talking in the background from the Americanos. Uh, and then there was this other guy talking about it as well. Uh, just going through the different options. There he is, Gareth Reader. So pretty much there's your options. Okay, the game modes are going to be the standard game modes. Unfortunately, no, there's no qualifying. It's strictly only the World Cup itself, although you can do, and it will show you it later, a uh, custom tournament with up to 15 teams that didn't qualify. I would expect the likes of Italy uh, to be one of the options. So if you wanted to have a little bit of a different World Cup with teams that didn't make it, you could do that as well. But it's only 15 teams, I believe. Obviously, they're going to show you the gameplay. I don't think there's going to be any major gameplay improvements. I mean, we know EA, they like to tweak things once people complain about the game. I would like to see, if we do touch about gameplay real quick, make the AI play a little bit different. The variety sometimes in the final third is very samey. Get the ball down the wings and then try and just walk it in. So if you are going to tweak it, do that. But yeah, it looks great. There's no doubt about it. Um, regarding the stadiums, I did read, folks, that only two of the actual eight stadiums in the World Cup are in the game. So there's six stadiums that have not been put into the game, which is a bit of a shame considering they have the official license. And we used to complain about Konami not putting enough content in the game, but I don't know if there's reasons for that uh, or not. So you've got... Quick play as well, uh, if you want to do that. It'll be real-life lineups against the CPU. Uh, and then you've got quick play where you can do past and present matches as well. You can play against friends or against AI. Now we move on to the match day experience. So you'd expect the cut seems to be very sexy. Looking very nice. Yeah, so they've got the venue for the final and then one more stadium. A little bit disappointing, yes, I will say. Very, very disappointing. This is why I do miss the old days of having a fully-fledged World Cup game where they give you everything, the, the whole Road to Glory series almost. And then we've got Ultimate Team. Personally for myself, couldn't really give a monkeys about it, but this is where EA are going to make a bucket load of money. Uh, because everyone's going to be trying it out, I'm sure. Everyone wants to get involved with the World Cup. Trust me, even people that don't really watch football still watch the World Cup, especially living in America. The last World Cup that happened, I, I was having conversations with, you know, people over here that don't watch football, but they were watching the World Cup. So it's, it's, a, it's a huge competition, as we know. So they just show, continue to show you. I don't know how much longer we've got left. A couple of minutes here. There'll be limited time items from your chosen nation. And permanent World Cup campaign items. Where hey hey. Oh, there we go. Figo. Got some World Cup legends as well, folks. Some of these kits crack me up. Absolutely flary as you like. So if you want to go nuts absolutely nuts folks with all your uh, country's flags putting all over the stadium feel free and there's Portugal thinking they've won the World Cup who is going to win the World Cup folks let me know in the comments who do you have I mean there's going to be a lot of good teams as we know I think Argentina will be up there this year uh, no doubt France are going to be a big favorite as well how are Spain going to do Italy how are they going to oh hang on no that doesn't work Italy, you're useless. Uh, but anyway, there we have it. You can play it on November 9th, folks. All right, November 9th, you will get your hands 
on this for free across all uh, platforms. Um, so, yeah, lovely jubbly. And there really isn't, you know, really too much to talk about. If we kind of go back here, this is how it's going to look. I mean, this has already been leaked because EA accidentally released it early the other day on PlayStation. Uh, but yeah, you've got the FIFA World Cup live. You've got your tournament mode. As I said, you can do a custom tournament. Uh, and they did showcase that where I don't know exactly, but there are teams that didn't make it that you can put in the game up to 15 of them uh, if you want to do something a little bit different. But, you know, they've got all the authentic you know scoreboards ad boards it is quite a bit disappointment i will say to just have two stadiums i mean the stadiums are you know they're very unique to the world cup that's normally what brings uh, the flavor but unfortunately ea only able to put two in there i mean one of them are at least the final stadium so that's good but still a little bit disappointing yes anyway folks that's all nothing crazy just wanted to put that out there let me know your thoughts below as always and uh we'll be back very shortly but until next time who is going to win the world cup let me know and we'll see you in the next one take care